Yeah, hi guys. A centralized voter registration system, public campaign financing, and an open primary system. Just some of Secretary Merrill's accomplishments. Her resignation marks the third recent change to a state constitutional officer position. Connecticut's long-serving Secretary of the State is stepping down Thursday to focus on caring for her ailing husband. Sometimes life throws you a curveball and you can't quite finish what you started. At 73 and after three decades under the Gold Dome, Denise Merrill will be remembered as a trailblazer for women and vanguard for one of the most fundamental rights of democracy, the right to vote. Friend and former Secretary of the State, Lieutenant Governor Susan Beiswitz. I think Denise Merrill's legacy will be in the expansion of voter participation, the expansion of uh, public financing, mail-in voting, so many things that we worked on together. Merrill's resignation leaves Governor Lamont scrambling to fill the vacancy ahead of the state's August primary. I've got to find an interim replacement to get us through what's a, uh, you know, complicated election. Meanwhile, several candidates are running to permanently replace Merrill. Their thoughts on one of the office's most talked about issues, early voting. Local registrars and town clerks should have a voice on early voting as well as expanding no excuse absentee ballot, which is another policy priority for me. What I'm hearing from many town clerks is their concern is the unfunded mandate of that and the staffing up they have to do to prepare for that, which is why I only support maybe up to five days of early voting. Secretary Merrill's tenure hasn't been without criticism, and she leaves the post at a time when cybersecurity and election integrity have never been more important. I think the greatest challenge for us going forward is really maintaining or reestablishing that trust in the results of elections, because that's the bottom line for everything else. Governor Lamont says he will appoint an interim secretary of the state within a matter of a day or two. On the short list is Deputy Secretary of the State Scott Bates, who did have to resign his position at the Connecticut Port Authority following a financial scandal there. Secretary Merrill recently appeared as my guest on Fox 61's The Real Story. We had a wide-ranging discussion on all kinds of election-related issues. You can see that interview in full on our website, fox61.com. Inside the State Capitol in Hartford, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.